Send help. Send water. Send food. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats, we drinks all the drinks, and we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This, this is Send Foods. What's up, you sexy bitches? I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David Slow. Welcome back to another episode of Send Foods on Thrillist. Today, we are in hot, sunny, blazing, Satan, scorching, Stinky. <laughs> musty Phoenix, Arizona. Not the actual state. We musty right We're now. Musty. Because we weren't ready for this heat. Is I'm, it moist? But yeah. <laughs> yes. But I'm ready to eat. So I heard they you tickled me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they got some fire food up here. And I heard they do this like special uh, belot up here. Balot. Bal balot. <laughs> balot. Balot. We about to try and uh, get some refreshments and get some food because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> so we at Chino's food truck. Yeah, Chino's girl food truck. What we have here? Shrimp rolls. Nothing but shrimp. Every time you get a mother egg roll. They always fill it with a lot of cabbage. I'm talking about this man don't play. Where do you see cabbage in this? It's all shrimp. Yeah, all shrimp, no filler. Tommy, nothing but shrimp in there. Mm, fire, bro. We're too lazy to put nothing in but shrimp. It tastes like a fried hargao. What's that? It's the um, dim sum, the shrimp yeah. dim sum. Oh, that is what it tastes like. It's all shrimp, not crispy, not greasy. Popping. Delicious. Yeah, you know, what's up, bro? What else you got? A golden steak billy here with sriracha fries. Yo, look, look at the size of this damn sandwich. That's wild. You trying to you trying to have us just uh, stop that, here and this, be done? This, this is how we do it. This uh, is how we do it. Okay, well tell me about this. The little pool park French dip. Where's the dip? I was about to say. Oh, where's the jus at? at? I'll give you the honors. Oh my God, yes. Smell that. Is that the jus? Oh, this is like this is like this is like some type of chicken broth. Uh huh. Is it a secret? It's a secret. Get that dippy dips. Get, get the dip. Let's get a, let's get a beauty shot on this dip. Who get this dip. dipping it? Because he's Thai. That's all. Yeah, those are my peoples. Those are Lao people. I'm Thai. We're like. Uh, it's not the same thing. It's like we're cousins, basically. That's why. So, why crap? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are Anyang Hase Ho. How about that? I think the best thing is gonna be the kimchi corn cheese hot dog. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, and the Takashi 69. Six yeah, 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 yeah. They got the Latin and Asian fusion. So, it's like me and my girl. You know what I'm saying? Because she's half Salvadorian. And I'm Asian, and we make one of these. Yeah. We love the elote. We know about that street corn life. But this right here, they took it next level, infused some Asian sauces and some Asian flavors. This look like corn on acid. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> Ooh. Is it good? Mmm. That ass is good, huh? Wow. Ooh, that's spicy. Okay, well, mm. I'm gonna stay away from that hot sauce Ooh, then wow. real quick. What's the spicy? Green sriracha, then they turn it into their own sauce. Everybody, when they do food nowadays, they're trying to make it look as Instagram pretty as possible. That's why they got all the colors on it, I understand. But the good thing about it, it actually tastes good. I mean, you can't go wrong with some uh, elote. <laughs> all right, now get the going out of my face. <laughs> Here we have the Korean kimchi corn cheese hot dog. If you have drank with a bunch of Koreans, our classic bar food that we have, which is like a perfect example of fusion, is corn cheese. You'll have it with some type of melty cheese, mo melty cheese. Melty cheese. Me melty cheese. <laughs> melty cheese, like mozzarella. It's it's like canned corn mixed with mayo, mozzarella, and they bake it. Or okay. they put it under a salamander, and they just They make put it, it under a lizard? <laughs> A hot salamander, they broil it, and it becomes nice and toasty and cheesy on top, but they did that with a hot dog here. Got a little sriracha, some green onions, some cilantro. Some cilantro. I like people that don't shy away from cilantro. You yeah, know, some I cilantro. Should we lady in the tramp this? 
Let's do it, dude. Let's do it, Lady the Tramp. I'll be the lady. Okay, I'll be the tramp. Mmm, mmm, ooh, bacon. Yeah, better not cut that. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of just like an LA street dog. Exactly. It's like bacon wrapped, and you got a little bit of like the, the burn from the grill, you know? I like the char on the hot dog. Yeah. It's something you don't get from a steam hot dog. That char sends it through the roof, my friends. Oh, I didn't get any kimchi. Has that nice vinegary, like sharp kick that cuts through like that mayo that you have on it. Delicious, sweet corn. Send me a piece of that corn. Get that corn out of my face. <laughs> all right, now that David spit all over this hot dog, we're gonna we're go done. find another thing. We're done. We up here at a booth collabo. It's a Good Fortune Kitchen and Drunken Tiger. If people don't know what balot is, dog, let them know. Fertilized duck egg. Fertilized duck, duck fetus. It's that duck fetus is chilling. Yeah. Almost a grown ass duck, but not quite. Beak and everything. It stares at you after you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you guys do to it? So uh, we want to do something a little bit more creative and have a little bit of fun. So uh, we made house made. Uh, longanisa sausage, Ooh. Filipino. So you guys kind of made like a Scottish egg with this? Yeah, exactly, Scott, exactly. yeah. That's Scottish egg. Gotcha. gotcha. All right, let's yeah. get it. Let's try this out. Thank you so much. Yes. Here we go. Have you, met, have you had a balut before? I had balut before. Balut. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of freaky, but it tastes, it tastes good. So when I had balut for the first time, it, it wasn't quite there yet. There was no beak, there was no feathers. When I had balut, that mother <laughs> said, what's up? <laughs> and a cigarette is not everything. What's <laughs> quacking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Cheers. Cheers. I'll take a big old bite. I got all sausage right now, which is already fire. Oh my god, this is my Oh! You already got to the egg? Got a little feather in there. That's all. Maybe, good. maybe I'm not gonna look, actually. <laughs> Bull's like stunning for his SADs and You look like Khaleesi's dragons right here, dog. It's a super potent, super flavorful hard-boiled egg. Yeah. With a little body in there. <laughs> I gotta say though, like if, if you're if you're scared of it, try it this way because they definitely add a lot of flavor. Any fear you had of the of the duck fetus is hidden, you know, with the sausage and like the seasoning and the and the crispiness of the batter. This is good, man. I actually f with this a lot. Wow. Hey guys, put this on my bill. Duck. <laughs> that was good. No, that was really good. <laughs> So right now we are at Magic Kitchen, magic Indonesian kitchen. cuisine. You want to see some magic? Yo, how the f yo, yo, you're a demon, bro. <laughs> so what kind of Asian food is this? This is Indonesian. So this is Indomie rendang. Oh, okay. Ren, I don't want to say rendang. I feel like it's wrong. Rendang redemption. And can we have a Ooh, nice, Ooh, nice little uh, soft boiled egg in there. I think it's I, like an over easy one too. I like when it just busts all over the place. So uh, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I ain't gonna lie, this tastes like something you would make. <laughs> like my leftovers in the yeah. morning? I love to take like leftover Thai food or leftover Chinese food, toast up a little tortilla, wrap it up, throw on some sriracha, and that's my I mean, real talk, it's not like gourmet but things don't have to be gourmet to taste bomb, and this is pretty bomb. Oh, dude, who made mother Magic <laughs> Kitchen! One of my favorite like things I have uh, when I go to Thailand, and it's also really popular in Indonesia and Singapore. It's called uh, Hainanese chicken. In Thai, they call it kao man kai. Kao man kai. Kao man kai. Come on, guy. <laughs> Come on, guy. Yeah, kao man kai. Come on. It's like they uh, take the chicken, and usually, I mean, the way my mom does it is instead of like cooking the rice in like regular like broth, they cook it in the chicken broth. I mean, my mom. Nothing's gonna beat my mom's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, a lot of people say that their parents' cooking is really good, and sometimes it's trash. His mom's cooking is the. Yeah, like yeah. The sh yeah. So I wanted to definitely try one of these because they got the little fusion hand roll situation going on. It smells fresh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Zesty. When you get high net chicken, you're getting it with rice anyway, so you're really just getting it in a nice little package. You definitely have that 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 ginger sauce that you typically have mm -hmm. with high net chicken. The nice fresh cucumber. Tiniest little kick to it. Nothing crazy. I mean, oh, unless you're a gringo. That's a white person. Yeah, it's good. It's not like my mom's, though. Yeah. This is a tempura takeover. We're talking about soft shell crab and some scrimps. If you don't know what a soft shell crab is, typically it's going to be a blue crab that molts its shell after it kind of grows out of it. It pushes its hard shell out. It swells its body up with water so it could molt it. And during that molting stage, it's soft as hell. And then about a couple of days later, it'll grow its hard shell. But they grab the crab before that, and then they cook it. And if you don't know what shrimp is, it's like those little things in the, in the ocean, the little ones. There you go. Ah, it's hot. Um, mm, mm. Oh, do it. Mm, do it, do it. Do it. You know what? It's hot if you a bit. No, it's hot. It's, hot. it's actually hot. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, sometimes when people do tempura, it gets a little soggy. Yeah. But this right here, nice, nice little light crunch to it. What's this here? Right there, that's that soft shell crab. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Molt it up, it's hard shell. And there you go, people. I'm gonna eat the booty. Mm. Well, you eat the booty, I'm eat the face. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Woo! Listen, I love blue crab. But the problem with blue crab is getting the meat out of that tiny little crab is a pain in the ass. But when you have it in soft shell, it's just right there to eat. Fry it up and eat the whole thing. Pop it. I just washed his hands, that's all I did. I was washing his hands. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona has a lot of good food. Phoenix Night Market is popping. What was your favorite dish today, man? It had to be, surprisingly, the very first thing that we ate. Wait, say it, say it at the same time, say it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Kahlua, Kahlua pork dip sandwich. Everything was really good. Uh, you know, Phoenix is hot, but it was worth the trip because uh, the food was fire, just like the, uh, you know. The heat. Yeah. The Phoenix Suns. Mm-hmm. Because that's the team here. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what city we should go to next. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, spread it around real good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spread it around like real nice. Like the comment called. <laughs> Till next time, I'm Timothy Gallaghetto. And I'm David Stowe. This is Send Foods on Thrillist. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah.